Hi my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters, Meditations, I'm coming in with the Lenaman. So come and join me, I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and it's an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting likely then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well hi Aquarius this is your reading for um, August the 3rd till August the 9th 2020 and this is Morgan and Gariadek and the Wildwood Tarot, the Angel Feather and the Overall Energy from the Lerner Mun. So I hope you will enjoy it and I hope you've had a good week. Well, you're going to start this week off with celebrations. And um, Capricorn had the Four of Wands. They had celebrations as well. I wonder whether this energy is going to hold on for the rest of the signs. So you are starting your week off with celebrations with family and friends. Wow, I hope you are. Perhaps you might be going on holiday and celebrating after all. Then we have the Knight of Stones and the Knight of Stones is the Knight of Pentacles. You might be celebrating with a Virgo or with a Capricorn or a Taurus. Ooh, that's nice. Or you might be meeting one. The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Stones, also means that you might be receiving news. So this news could be good news. I think it will be, so that you can celebrate this good news. Okay, Aquarius. Let's have a look what we've got in the middle of the week. I can't get any better than that. You have the King of Pentacles. Everything you touch or everything you do will turn to positivity or gold. You might have received news that you now have reached the stage of the King, like a promotion in other words. The King of Pentacles is Taurus. You might be meeting a Taurus, like I said, or you might be getting news from a Taurus. But you definitely could be celebrating with a Taurus. But don't exclude Capricorn or Virgo. Then we have the Four of Arrows. And the Four of Arrows is the Four of Swords. Remember, that means time to take time out. It's advisable to take time out. Well, I said perhaps you are going on holiday and that you are celebrating. So you could be going with a Taurus, a Capricorn uh, or a Virgo. But we've also got the Three of Cups. Okay? But it's not a person card and the Knight is and the King is. So I think it's more than likely that you will meet an Earth sign and that you might be going away on holiday taking time out to get to know each other look at this beautiful butterfly or moth you when you take time out it is a transformational time if you are not meeting anybody then take time out to meditate contemplate or uh, rejuvenate and contemplate and evaluate you whilst you are away evaluate what the next step could be this this could be with regarding to news okay and to perhaps a study because the king of pentacles also means that you might have a new job if you haven't or a promotion and that will bring in money again and again and again because he is a person that invests in something for durability and long term whether it is in work or whether it is in relationships on friday you have the devil there again an earth sign capricorn the devil represents capricorn 
but this um, Taurus could or Capricorn could if you know one of these could have a bad habit they could be manipulative they could be um, addicted to something they could be addicted to work or investments or to money or anything else to swearing or arriving late so you know you and um, if they are manipulative then break free you are free you don't belong to anybody except yourself okay so if you are not the one that's got the addiction or the bad habit and it is somebody in your vicinity that is an earth sign then tell them to seek help professional help you can't help somebody that does not want to help themselves you don't have to be their slave or their backbone it's up to them to get uh, out and take action and to get to kn know themselves and get take time out to meditate and contemplate you've also got the page of vessels it could be the page of vessels because um, uh, the addictions usually um, a lot of readers say it's alcohol or uh, drugs so yeah alcohol is water so here we somebody could be addicted to water swimming or alcohol drinking anything okay you've got the page of cups the page of vessels and he could be bringing you news this could be a young person this could be also a child um, that is your child or a friend's child but you might know a child this could be with um, an older child as well but then it is um, an earth sign okay and young child the page is always younger than the night uh, could be uh, 10 to 18 years old if I had to give it a, a time okay and at the weekend you have the hierophant this is a fire sign no sorry this is also an earth sign the hierophant the hierophant is a Taurus okay you might be seeking help um, with regards uh, to this child or somebody that has a bad habit or an addiction this card the hierophant um, is somebody that is the head of a municipality or an institution in this card he represents the head of the church and he represents the tarot in the tarot an advisor it could be a father figure or an older man that you mature man a mature man that you respect this could be your brother this could be your uncle this could be a professional as well but this could also be a doctor um, or a social worker um, that can advise you to help with this person that has this addiction if it is not you Aquarius like I said it could be a Taurus and you do have a lot of earth you've got the earth sign here the night that, that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn or you have the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces and here again you've got the earth sign and we do have the three of cups and that means celebration you see the three cups drinking drinking so perhaps this is a party goer perhaps he's burning the candles or she's burning the candles on both sides and could be your child and you don't know how to do with it because he's he's not re doing well at his studies for, for example okay but it, for this, at the same time it can be you so take time out and get help if you have a bad habit you've got the six of cups and Capricorn had the six of cups as well so somebody from the past could be back and bringing coming back and bringing you a gift the six of vessels is also that you might be reminiscing about the past okay this could be somebody from the past that had a bad habit habit and could be coming back to see you because they've sought the help and perhaps they might come back and make you an offer 
their hand in marriage or asking your hand in marriage because the hierophant is the priest and he is a head of an institution if you do not want to get married or if you don't go to church then this could be the registry office also a person of a municipality so perhaps they might come back and ask you to be their partner that is the feeling that I get as well okay and perhaps that's why you are going away with them that is what I'm seeing as well or you might want to take time out on your own to contemplate about this and evaluate your pros and cons but you know you know what they were like but you can give them a chance so take it slowly definitely take it slowly don't do anything in haste because you will have to repent in leisure and you don't want to go back where you came from because that caused you a lot of heartache sadness and loneliness you for the angel card we have vermilion angel feather bright red and we are in the energy of Leo so that is orange so it to me the orange feather means fire action light a candle ask the angels what you should do and for help the angels feel your bereavement and loss and are here to wipe away your tears it's now time to connect with your precious love okay like they left you in a lurch and you were uh, sad bereaved this doesn't have to mean a death this could also be a loss of a friendship a loss of a pet a loss of a job a loss of a house any anything that causes sadness is bereavement the familiar uh, angel feather is presented as a symbol of precious love know that you're not alone and that you are loved the angels have been closely wrapping their wings around you since you loved one past well I'm going to change that since your loved one or your loss past okay they ask that you now connect with your loved one in the spirit world or connect with your higher self so that you can seek answers and make the change if it is somebody that you've lost and that you are sad about then light a candle and l let them know um, that you are missing them by saying a few words to them and ask them to give you a sign what is going uh, in the near future each time that you light this candle with love in your heart your spiritual connections grow with the angels and they will help you through this sad period this will increase your creativity your joy and nurturing yourself and knowing what to do in the in every situation stay optimistic and you'll be all right now we have um, the uh, Lenormand card and you've got number 21 which means three is creative be creative and you are creative you've got the eight of clover so the eight of clover means the eight of wands there will be lots happening all at once news boom 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 you've got the night and you've got the page so then you know there is news coming but you might also be traveling like I said you might be going away taking time out okay don't make mountains out of molehills okay don't make an elephant out of a fly take it step by step you don't have to climb the steep mountain you can walk the path like the deer if you have to meet deadlines then you will have to hurry up walk a little bit quicker and get things done and don't be afraid to seek advice or ask for help Ooh, it can be a very difficult journey especially when somebody else is coming back from the past 
that have had bad habits. Remember, a dog sheds his fur, but not its tricks. So don't make a problem out of it. Give somebody the time. You don't have to go and climb the mountain. Walk gently, step by step. You can't run before you can walk. And it's the same in every single friendship or relationship. Whether it's love or work, take your time so that you can stay balanced and in your strength. You're the one that is the boss. Don't let anybody manipulate you, okay? I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. Take care and be blessed and know you're not alone. Just burn the candle, ask the angels and they will be with you and they will listen to you and help you. Take care and stay safe. Have a wonderful week. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.